Hey everybody, welcome back to another Sand Tube video. In this one, we will be going over how to fix imperfection or flaws in prints. I mean, I just spent a day printing this part of the helmet right here, and I have two, three places where there's issues. So what do I do? Do I throw the whole thing away or do I try to fix it? Of course I try to fix it. <clears throat> so let me kind of point out the flaws to you a little bit. So like right here, towards the middle everything was fine but i had a little bit of layer shifting right there as you can see and a little bit right there and i haven't cleaned it up or anything like that but these are the small issues that i had um so how do i fix this well it's very simple i'm not gonna throw it away um that's the first thing second thing is there's uh, some wood fillers that you can use such as these i normally use the elmer's uh carpenter's wood filler sustainable sandable it just works a lot better for me now uh where i usually buy it from they ran out of this one so i ended up getting this one uh the men wax sustainable wood filler to see how that one's gonna work so basically what you do is you go and take a little bit of this and apply it to the section that you want which i'll show you right now all right so what you're gonna do is just go and cut the tube at an angle that seems to work the best for the best for me just squeeze it out don't worry about going too thick now you can wear gloves on this part you guys but I usually just use my finger I'm gonna go ahead and dab this in now this is gonna be really sensitive in the beginning so you're just barely gonna touch it you can try to make sure everything gets filled up This one's a little bit grainier, <clears throat> but it is working. I still prefer the Elmer's glue myself. So I'll put a link for that at the bottom so you guys can use that. Because I just think it's a little bit easier to work with. And don't put too much pressure as you're applying it. Just gently go over it. You might need to do another coat after everything is said and done. There it is. And like I said, don't worry about it over blotching. Now, once you're done with this and it dries up, this is what it's going to look like. right there so if you notice this is already rough all I need to do is just sand it down and see I had a layer shift right there filled it in <clears throat> and the, uh, from the deepest gap to the smallest in that direction so I went up and if you notice everything is filled in and i still have a little bit on this side left to do but i had one here as well that i thought hey we might as well go ahead and show you guys and the cool thing about this is once this dries out and you paint and you sand it down you can actually paint it and when you paint it, that layer of paint will keep this underneath as a filler and you won't have to worry about it anymore so that's one way to make sure uh, your prints aren't wasted wood filler very easy to use the only thing is it does take about a day or 24 hours to uh, to dry depending on which one but this one actually is already drying up in my hands which is surprising so I'll just read the back I guess and uh, maybe some dry faster than the other so there you go guys 
I hope this helps you out. And uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave it at the bottom. If there's anything you'd like to see, uh, let me know. Drop a like, subscribe if you want to see more new content. Um, follow me on my Facebook group if you have any questions. I've uploaded profiles and things like that up there. So with all that said, like always guys, good luck and happy printing.